Hey y'all, it's Whitney Nosley. So I had another friend send me a message. Um, I actually have friends, believe that or not. And he said, all right, wait, don't bite my head off, but I just want to ask you a question real quick. Whatever I hear you say that you buy houses with $10, he says the, the hairs on my arm stand up and my senses like go on to like peak level and I start thinking about all these things and you know, I got 10 bucks, I could buy a house. And she says it's possible. So he says, Whitney, my question is, is this going to work in my area? And my answer is very simple, y'all. If you have people in your target market area, if you have houses in your target market area, it's going to work. All right? The only thing that you need to buy houses are people that have a problem. And I don't care where you are in America, we're all the same. We have all of the same problems. We have all of the same processes. Like, we're the same. And this is what I told him. I don't care if you're in Pennsylvania or Florida or California or Colorado. Like, I don't care where you are. There are people in your area who have jobs. There's people in your area who lose their jobs. There's people in your area who have parents. There's people who are going to lose their parents. There's people in your area who have a house, but then they find another house that they want to buy. So they get a bridge loan, they move to the second house, they still have the other house, and they think, oh, that's no big deal. We'll just rent it. We'll be landlords. How big of a deal could it be? All right. And then eventually they get tired of being accidental landlords. Those people that lose their parents, sometimes they try. They give it a stab. I'll be a landlord. How bad could it be? And then they get tired of being accidental landlords. So I don't care where you are in America. We've all got the same situation. We're all going through the same life process. We all want to, you know, send our kids to college. We all want to eat fancy dinners. We all want to wear fancy clothes. We all want to do the same kind of things. We want to buy a car. We want to go on vacation. Like, I don't care where you are. I also told my friend, though, I said, you know, we're all the same. Some of us like sweet tea and the rest of us are weird. <laughs> All right. Our accents are different. What we like to, you know, eat or drink, that might be different. Um, the way we drive might be different depending on if we're from, you know, Atlanta or the rest of Georgia. <laughs> but we're all the same. I don't care where you are in America. You can buy houses for $10. Your contract may be different depending on which state that you're in. Your attorney may prefer one way or the other, again, depending on what state you're in, depending on what their experience is like, depending on what your experience is like. I don't care where you are in America, you can go get a house for 10 bucks. You can get a house for nothing, all right? The two houses I bought in February, I gave that seller nothing. I gave him nothing. And he gave me the house. Two, actually. All right? There's tons of people in your area, in your town, that have houses that they don't want. And they're kind of ashamed to admit that they have this house and they don't want it anymore. All right? And they're also kind of, you know, full of pride. They've got this house. And maybe, listen to this, y'all. This is going to flip your mind. People get houses. They pay them off. And then they leave and don't do another thing with it. They don't take care of it. They don't rent it. And you're sitting there thinking, my gosh, you paid on this thing for 5, 10, 15, 30 years. And now you're just going to let it crumble? Yeah, they will. And so, you know, they've got this pride, though, that they got this house. And they don't, you know, like I told my mom, say you got a $100,000 house and you've kind of let it go. 
people will come in and offer you $50,000 and then they'll resell it for $65,000 and not touch it. And she, my mom was like, yeah, but somebody lost $50,000 there. I said, yeah, the person that owned it, but they don't care. People just don't care. And when you find people that don't care anymore, they're tired of it. They're tired of the problems. They're tired of the headaches. You can buy as many houses as you want. People in your town have houses that they don't want. Or maybe the house is in your town and the people live three hours away, three states away, three days away, whatever. They don't care about this house. All you need to do is tell them that you're going to take care of it and you're going to take care of them. You solve problems. <laughs> and you solve problems by buying houses. So yes, this is going to work in your area, in your market, in your neighborhood. It's going to work. You have to believe it's going to work. You have to take some action to make it work. But it's going to work. It's going to work. If you want to book a call with me, go to start.whitneynicely.com. Um, there's a short little video that shows you how I made like $75,000 or something crazy and on three deals. So, totally cool. And you can follow those prompts on start.whitneynicely.com and book a call with me. My March group starts on Tuesday. we got plenty of time to get you in, talk to you, and get you started so you can have a couple days head start from the rest of the group. Group. Crew. Group. <laughs> Go to start.whitneynicely.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Send them to me. Send me a private message. If you got questions, I'll, I'll try not to bite your head off. <laughs> I won't make any promises, but I'll try. Bye, y'all.